morning people i am doing a type video as you can see in the title and it's my top go-to beauty products i not really that much into makeup i do like how it looks but i just haven't taken that other step to put in effort into you know learning more about it so it's when i say beauty it's expanding quite wide because i i'm doing it as a video response to julie g i think julie g123 if that's incorrect i'll put the link to her page there anyways um but yeah hers is more focused on makeup but mine is beauty in general so before i get into that as usual i have to explain my hair if you haven't seen any of my previous videos but i'm doing the pipe cleaners again and yeah that's pretty much it i'm really loving how that hairstyle looks i like it even better when the curls drop and i'll actually put a link down there please check my pot key album as well because i've uploaded some photos there as well so i'm just going to get straight into it in no particular order um okay i guess i'll talk about my nails because you know i'm into my nails i haven't been doing my nails lately because i mean i've been working in fmb and you're not supposed to really have nail polish or acrylics for that matter because of health and safety you know they think you know polish gonna flake into the food or something like that so as soon as my last shift was over boom bang I put on this nail polish and that was last week Sunday and today is following Sunday and that's all because of Sally Hansen double duty strengthening base and top coat or basically anything by Sally Hansen that's some kind of top coat I've been meaning to try the diamond shine um, top coat but that's really expensive it's like six pounds or something and I'm like seriously like I know Sally Hansen you know girl and everything but no I'm not paying that money for nail polish so yeah you can buy any old nail polish any cheap thing and just once you put on a nice top coat it's gonna last and Sally Hansen as far as but as far back as I can remember, my mother always had Sally Hansen. So I don't know how long she's been around. You can Google it. But she has been around. She knows what she is doing. And my nails have lasted an entire week. I mean, seriously, see for yourself. I'm not saying that my nails are perfect. Because if you, for example, that one, obviously the top is coming off a bit. But most of them... They look fine, they're still passable. I'm gonna take them off today though and refresh them with another color. But yeah, that is my go-to product. Number one. Number two is this bio oil. Probably seen the advertisement for this. It even skin tones and gets rid of scars and stuff like that. On the back it says specialist skin care for scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin, and dehydrated skin. Apply twice daily for a minimum of three months. During pregnancy, apply twice daily for the first trimester until after birth. I just use it for my face, but my mother asked me, how come you don't use it on your stretch marks? And I was like, thanks, mom. But, I mean, I just, I don't know. I, my stretch marks don't bother me that much. And I know you might be surprised. Oh, you got stretch marks. But, I mean, some people might not be surprised because you can see skinny people with stretch marks. And I used to be thick, thin you know around 10 11 and then once i hit puberty booty and thighs just came from nowhere so i do have a bit of stretch marks um but i mean they don't bother me that much but so i can't really say if they do work on stretch marks but i think they do in terms of my face it does even skin tone and i just put it on as a daily moisturizer as soon as i come out in the shower i just apply it a little bit and even though it says oil and yes it is oil and it's very oily it doesn't leave your skin oily and I'm not, I'm not saying you know lather it out but just put a dollop about the size of like you know five cents or something and just apply it to your skin I love that stuff it works wonders um like I said they're not in any particular order I just kind of have this stuff laying around me if I remember um okay oh didn't mean to do that Johnson's baby powder I love this stuff this is pretty much my foundation. If I'm going out, even if it's going clubbing to dinner, I just use Johnson's Baby Powder because I I don't I don't, I just feel I don't need foundation. There was a point when I was using Fashion Fair, and I own It's not like I stopped using that, but it got crumbly, so I couldn't you know use the powder puff and put it on. 
So I threw that in the garbage because it wasn't usable and I haven't had the time to buy a new one since then. But at the moment, like I said, I don't feel like if I need it anyways. So this, if I'm going out, I literally just grab a powder puff with some powder. And even though it's white and I'm obviously black, it just it blends in. I'll just, let me see. It will blend in. And it just makes my skin look nice and, I don't know. But if, even though it's white, it doesn't make my face look white at all. So I literally just do that, eyeliner, mascara, I'm good to go. Love it. And it makes your skin feel fresh as well because, I mean, it's for babies, so. Um, in terms of makeup, I am very limited to my makeup. But, as if you did already know, my eyelashes. When I do go out, I go with these. And when I say go out, I mean out, out. Like, a really big event, like going clubbing or going to a ball or... You know an award ceremony we had some at work something like that but if i'm going to dinner like hey you want to go you know to tgi fridays today i'm not going to put on my eyelashes but i would put on my rimmel london volume mascara flash times 10. Doo -doo -doo. this is good because i mean i've pretty much bought every mascara that is on the market and this one is the only one that made me think wow like you know my eyes look really nice you know, it's nothing, no fancy brush or anything like that. But I do, I did like Rimmel London and I was stuck with it. So, like that Rimmel London one. For my lips, I used Blush Blistex Soothing Splash. I don't really put anything on my lips because I tend to get that line in there of, you know, the stuff that builds up. I don't know. You know, not bills that that makes it sound nasty but if you have one lip gloss or lipstick sometimes you just get a little white line in there and I don't like it so this one it just rolls on it's really smooth it's a liquid and that is all I do even when I'm going out my eyelashes everything on I just put on lip gloss because I'm not into that whole lipstick thing so cannot live without this and I actually have one here at home one in my handbag and one at work so if the one at work runs out i'm not going to use the one that i have in my handbag i will go and buy a new lip gloss and replace the one at work i just always have to have three because my lips being dry that is a big pet peeve of mine i can't have dry lips mm -mm. next one my two eyeliners they work together this one is a liquid eyeliner and i use that for my top lid just show ya just like that a really small brush and I don't know if you can hear but it has like a little ball inside you know to keep it nice and fluid and that is from collection 2000 I've stuck with this brand because I like how this brand is but I haven't really tried anything else so I love this one I tend to put that on top because if I put normal eyeliner on top I find that it rubs away easier so it's not, if i rub my eye by mistake or if i'm sweating this one will go away but the liquid eyeliner it stays on there because it dries on and then for my bottom lid this one isn't even open but it's a retractable eyeliner so you just twist it and then the eyeliner comes out so i don't have to sharpen it or anything and i love this one i keep one here again one in my bag one at work because i am really i don't know really into that eyeliner on the bottom lid thing um yeah so i love those and i just have them in black i i've seen them in different colors they have them in blue in silver in pink but i i don't know i need to expand more because Nicki minaj she her last video what was it that one with drake more more for life or you know whatever i don't know what song it is but she has like some blue eyeliner on the bottom and i think it looks really pretty but I haven't been able to do it. I've also tried the white eyeliner on the inner lid. That did not work. Tyra needs to help me out because I saw it on her show, on Top Model, and on the Tyra show. It doesn't work. I just look weird. Like So if somebody can tell me or reassure me that that white eyeliner on the inside works, let me know because I just chucked that thing in the bin. Next one. This is probably close to number one. 
because most of the time I go out I just do a smoky eye it's a bit crumbly at the moment so you gotta bear with me here goodness so that's what it looks like so there's a whitish silverish one there a black one and then a silver one and it came with this as well obviously the little applier and I you can see it's well used so most of the time when I go out I use that again just to give you an idea of when I use it if I'm going out out I'll put it on if I'm going to TGI Fridays I don't put on eyeshadow I just put on eyeliner mascara and that's it and my lip gloss and then this one is if I happen to be wearing some kind of earth tones it is just a you know a cream sorry it's just a cream a gold and a brown and I've used it once or twice I mean you can look and see this thing has hardly been touched but I just figured I need a goldish I need a silverish smokyish I'm good to go but I do I keep saying but I do want to wear more colors I like how they look and I mean there's more than enough videos on YouTube showing you how to do it but I just every time I'm gonna do it, I'm like ah meh like I really just can't bother I just put on my smoky eye out to the door in you know 15 minutes so um, I've gotten so used to that routine and let's see what else I think I have pretty much covered everything to be perfectly honest um, I I'm, I mean I'm a simple girl I do like makeup and I like girly stuff but in terms of my beauty I you know I really do keep it simple so that I don't really have much more go-to beauty products so um, since I like getting tagged so I mean every anybody who's watching this is tagged I if you don't do videos just leave a comment below or just make a video response but I will be looking forward to hearing your response if I might have to do a follow-up video because I feel like I'm forgetting something but um, yeah I enjoyed doing it and I will speak to you guys later bye bye